So last layer of cases with this, which is kind of like this line case. And again, like the previous ones, any selectable position, it's traced in, it's the exact same. So basically from here or here, it's the exact same thing. So first for this case, so it's traced from here to here. Uh, bottom the same, obviously, even parity, slice, do a counterclockwise move, and then solve with scallop scallop. For odd parity, slice, do a clockwise move, and then solve the eight piece. The mirror, same thing, even parity, slice, counterclockwise move, and then do um, the scallop scallop setup. For odd parity, slice, do a clockwise move, and then solve scallop scallop. Alright, so next is this 4 2 case, here to here traced, bottom the same. Uh, even parity is the good one, just bring that two down, and then get scallop cut. Odd parity, you have to do some maneuvering, so I bring the slice here, and bring these two opposite, and down, then get scallop cut. For the mirror of this case, same thing, even parity is slice to scallop kite. Odd parity is you have to maneuver things a bit, so do this, and then bring this across here, and then you get scallop kite. So here's the mirror, we have the two back here, just from here to here, bottom the same. For this mirror, even parity, you're gonna do the exact opposite from before, so we do the odd one. So we're gonna do a longer one, which is doing the maneuvering, do scalp height. And then the even parity one is just to do the one slice and scalp height. For the mirror, odd parity is just going to be one slice and scalp height. Even parity is the one where you have to maneuver the two around and then do scalp height. Alright, next is this 2 to 2 case. So for this one, tracing up here to here. Bottom is the same as usual. So for this one, just transition whatever you get into the uh, kite shield, I think, out. So for even, it will be something like this. Uh, do one slice, and then for even kite shield, I would have something like this. For odd, the first slice is the same, but then do um, odd kite shield. The mirror is the exact same thing, so for even, uh, slice and the even cut shield which is like this and then do that on cut shield but for odd do the same first slice and then do the odd version of this kite shield so next is this case with the 4 and the L for this one tracing is here to here so this one's pretty simple for even parity hold the L in front do the one slice and then you get one more slice to scalp kite. For odd parity, hold the L in the back, do the one slice and you get one slice to scalp kite. Same exact thing for the mirror. For even parity, one slice with the L in the front, do scallop kite, one more slice. For odd parity, hold the L in the back and you get this, one more slice to scalp kite. So next is this case, the five in front, it's on the right side. So, for tracing, it's here to here, bottom the same. For even parity, uh, it's pretty simple, you just do one slice into this case, which is just one more slice into the scalp kite. For odd parity, it's a bit more different, you're gonna see this alone piece, and you're gonna kind of connect it like this to make the 4 and a 2. And instead of going to scalp scalp, you go to uh, shield shield, and you solve it from there. The mirror is the exact same thing for even parity. One slice into this case, which is just one more slice into scalp height. For odd parity, connect this part with this to make this, and then one more slice for shield shield, and then just solve it like that. So here's the mirror, exact same thing but reversed. So it starts from here, goes around to here for the tracing. Uh, for the uh, Odd elk, one slice into this case, which is one more slice to some kite. Uh, for the even elk, it's one slice to this case, and then one more slice into shield shield. 
for this case, the mirror, uh, for even parity, for odd parity first, uh, just go here, and then one more slice to scale height. For even parity though, you'll have to go into this case, and then go into shield shield. So next is this case of the threes, so tracing from here to here, bottom's the same. And for even parity, we're gonna kind of imagine it for going to scalp, scalp in front. So something like this, and this, scalp, scalp in front. For odd parity, you're gonna have to reverse it, so something like this, in a way that makes scalp, scalp back. Like that. For the mirror, even parity, you're gonna imagine it to make scalp scalp. In the front, same exact thing. For odd parity, you're gonna have to adjust the big block to prepare for scalp scalp in the back. So next there's this case, if you cover this up, it's kinda like right pawn. Tracing is from here to here, bottom's the same. So yeah. And for even parity, just connect this with this, and you can just do uh, one more move to scalp scalp. For odd parity, however, you're gonna separate using the slice the pawn and the L. You can hold the opposite opposite from the slice of the L. And the slice once. You're gonna connect this to make a square, and you get mushroom square. So this is pretty interesting way to solve the CSP. The mirror is the exact same thing for even parity. It's one slice and then you just go into scalp. scalp. For odd parity, however, you're gonna have to uh, separate using the slice, the L and then the pawn and hold the opposite on the other side. And you can make a uh, mushroom square. So here's the final case of the CP series. This one's with the left pawn kind of piece, and then the opposites. Tracing is the exact same kind of, so here to here. And um, the algs are exact same but reversed. So for odd parity, connect these two and make scalp scalp. For even parity, hold it the exact same way with these opposite from the door, and then you can make um, square mushroom. For the mirror, it's the same thing. Odd parity is one slice and two another slice into some scalp. For even parity, uh, it's held the exact same way, like this, and you get mushroom square. So yeah, that's it for CSP. So that's it for the series. I hope this is helpful and you guys were able to learn full CSP. It does take some practice to actually get it like under 15 seconds and to actually use it in solves but after a bit of practice, it should be fine. For future videos, I might do example traces uh, just so it clears up some questions you might have for the tracing and such. But one video I will be sure to make is a method to be able to trace from any single piece. So usually in reference schemes, you have to start from one piece and go around. But with this new method, you can trace from any single piece and that's really helpful. So I'm gonna make a video on that. That's one of the techniques that made me sub-15 in tracing, so I think it's pretty helpful. So that video will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, I guess that's it, so thanks for watching.